the only thing I'm not outsourcing is hugging my kids and, mm. and having sex with my husband. <laughs> And some days I might be like, hey, you know what? No, you would never. Shut you up. Know what, no, sir. you know what, Girl, <laughs> good night. Let's see. What's it going to be? Princess. <laughs> what would you tell someone who wants kids about motherhood? Mm. Someone who wants kids, what would I tell them? I would tell them... Make sure you have a lot of patience mm. in your reserve. Uh -huh. You're going to need a lot of patience. Uh, there are going to be a lot of sleepless nights in the beginning. There's going to be a lot of tears from these babies. A lot of poopy diapers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of vomit and throw up. <laughs> okay? A lot of messes to clean up. Yes. So definitely. just um, just be ready to really have the patience to deal with what's gonna come with it. It's going to be the most beautiful experience Absolutely. outside of those things. But those things, the no sleep, mm -hmm. the messes, the it's the energy being expended, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot out of you. Amen. But the flip side is so beautiful and so worth it. You got this. Y'all got this. The mamas got this. What, what about you? you? Um, I would say have a village. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna have a baby, you better have a village to come yes. with it. Come because on. you are only one person and you have your own life as well. So you can't live your own life to the fullest and think you're gonna be 100% able to do every single thing as a mother. So make sure you build that village first, if possible. Yeah. Then had a baby. Yes, I love it. I love it. How do you overcome the fears of raising kids in this world? Well, they're already here. <laughs> so, <laughs> ready or not, <laughs> afraid or not, they're here. I already pushed them out of this ooch. <laughs> so, that's how I overcome it. Where are they going? Angel. They're here already. <laughs> they are here. We can cry about it. Yes. They still here. <laughs> that's how I overcome it. I face the reality of the fact. They ain't going nowhere. All four of them. Bow, 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 bow. They, what, what are we gonna do now? Wow. Maybe there was ignorance before I had them. It wasn't like facing those fears. But again, it is too late. We did the <laughs> deed. We smashed multiple times, made the babies. Fears are there. Oh, well. Sis. That's what it is. It's like saying, how do you overcome bills? You can't. You, this is, they there. They're, they're there and they will always be there. They will always be there. So you just, you just deal with. So I don't know. Hopefully they weren't expecting some philosophical answer because the fact of the matter is there is none. There is none. We are here. We are in it together. And you just keep going. Like, yes. I'm not going to stop parenting. Like, what else? There's, there's, that's not a, an option for me. Not an option. Just call on Jesus. Yeah, come on. That's about it. That's it. And we just, we going to be scared together. Amen. 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 <laughs> Okay. All right, Queen. I love it. All right, Queen. Give I, it to me. I can feel this one is a good one, mm -hmm. that you just got so many just prolific things to say about. Oh, my gosh. What are some of the ways people treat you differently since becoming a mother? Mm. Mm. Oh, I love to hear this. Well, I will say this. I feel like my friends who don't have kids don't always invite me to things mm. because they're like, you probably can't go, right? Because you have a baby, right? Uh -huh. You probably can't go because you have your daughter, right? And I'm like, you'll still call me mm -hmm. because I'll send her away. Right, I right. I can still have fun. Yeah. I can still party. Yeah, you're <laughs> like, mama's still very much alive. Mama's still alive. Um, and I'm not saying it happens all the time, but I feel like sometimes people are like, oh, I, I just wasn't sure. And it's like, check. Check with me Check first. Check with me first. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 I still have energy. Yeah. No, I get that. <laughs> I think because I've had kids since the beginning of time, people have Girl. treated me the same. You, I mean, you didn't know me without kids. True. I met you with Lil Marcus. Yeah. So. so most of my friends now, they only, it was a space of time, like a tiny space of time they yeah. knew me without children. But yeah. they like, Girl, you've been a mom since I know since I know you. Since you were like, and you've been ten. getting it since <laughs> then. Well, thank you, friend. And since you stay then. getting it. You stay getting it. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do. It's my turn. Let's uh -huh. go. Oh, if resources were unlimited. Mm, come on, talk about it. Unlimited. This is the type of question I want. Come okay. on. Okay. No boundaries. What responsibilities would you outsource? Everything. <laughs> <Like>. what am, 
I what am I doing other than sitting and enjoying myself? It's a limit, limit, unlimited, unlimited me, resources. I'm not cooking. <laughs> I'm not even feeding myself. Put it in my mouth and move Good my night. jaws. Good night. I don't, or just put it in a, <laughs> put it in my the vein so that I stop overeating. Angel, I don't want to do. I work hard, so the thought of an endless vacation sounds amazing. <laughs> yes. Okay. I concur. The only thing I'm not outsourcing is hugging my kids and, mm. and having sex with my husband. <laughs> And some days I might be like, hey, you know what? No, you would never. Shut you up. You know no, what, you, Girl, <laughs> good night. Pick up the card. Good night. <laughs> no, I think I would really focus on, um, I mean, I work because I do love work. I don't work yeah. just for the money. I do love entertaining people. Yeah. So I would still probably enjoy doing that, but it would be nice to be able to do it on my time, my terms. Um, and I would vacation more. We would be free work. Everywhere, even though I sometimes traveling internationally be like, because you know, I didn't watch Take It a couple of times, but I, even though nobody trying to take me, and also I'm too heavy to take. Where are you going? We ain't making it to the elevator. You already too tired, baby. You'd have forgot this 215. Where are we going? Hey, Joe, <laughs> go ahead, put me back I in the room. Can not. <laughs> Get somebody like this. Go, go down a couple of hotel rooms because you weren't expecting this 215 to slow you down. They're not going to be able to capture you anyway. Your husband going to be right there. Well, just in case he's he big and heavy too. Yeah, exactly. We a heavy family. <laughs> So we're not really gonna get took in nowhere, but if no they know way. I got the money, they what? might try to do something. <laughs> so we might just be traveling around the US. You don't have to worry. <laughs> you don't have to worry. Y'all covered. Y'all covered by the blood of Jesus. Come on, it ain't it good? Okay, you So covered. what would you do? What would you, because I know you would be in designer everything. Girl, same, are you kidding me? <laughs> we're living the same life. Okay, There's perfect. no difference. <laughs> It's, ex it's identical. Okay. Your answer is identical to my answer. Okay. okay. No changes. We should slip okay. It <laughs> Lavish. That's what the Lord wants for me. Yes. Uh. <laughs> the good life. Yes. Okay. Why do you think mothers aren't always honest about the challenges of motherhood? Ooh. Who out here lying? I know. Um. Why aren't they honest? Maybe they don't want to scare people. Um. Maybe they're embarrassed. This is interesting because I've always been very forthcoming yeah. about my experience, my experience as a mom, my experience during childbirth. Mm -hmm. um, um, I, I've been, yeah, so. Hmm. I think whoever came up with this card has a bunch of liars in their friends. <laughs> because I was like, who lying? Why, who lying? I mean, what is their to not be truthful about. I mean, it, it, it's it's so multidimensional being a parent. There are so many good things that you can talk about and share. And, and there are some tough things that you can talk about and share. And I just, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I guess it's about who you are communicating with because I feel like my friend group, my, my family, my friends, my sisters, I feel like I can open up. I feel like I can talk about anything. I can, I can say like, yeah, like my kid needs tutoring or I can say, uh, uh, you know, I'm struggling. I'm I'm not I'm not feeling like myself, and being a mother right now is hard. And or I need a break. Can you watch Aria yeah. for me and let me go and decompress? And you know, as a sister, you're like, yeah, I got her. Bring her over to the house. So I don't know. I mm, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think this is a skew mm. to. I don't know what it's who the question is skewed to, or if they're talking about like in media per se yeah but i feel like the Maybe. group of mothers that i am around and then how i also carry myself i'm you gonna get the truth about all of it whether it be um oh yeah nah like i wore a diaper for a whole two weeks after giving birth <laughs> right. to Lamar and loved it i was <laughs> like what this is what elderly people are doing uh, this is so maybe because it, it, it wasn't a challenge, then maybe that doesn't even. But some people might think wearing a diaper in your, what, up, 30s? Yeah, yeah, is a challenge, but it was great for me. But I mean, it, it's medical, so yeah. it is what it is. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. I let, let's go to the next one. Let's see what we got here. What is your ideal Mother's Day and why? Ooh, I that's like, so good. I like this one. Mm. Yeah. And watch my kids still not get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, ideal would be me waking up mm -hmm. to um, 
maybe going to brunch actually with the, with my my husband and my children. Brunch mm. reservations already made. Yeah. Um, and then maybe them sending me off to either the spa mm. or um, just some some like relaxing type of uh, environment, a sound mm. bath, just anything yes. where they are like, we want you to clear your mind yes. for a little bit. Clear your mind. Home. Okay. Mm. Um, and Come then on. I would want to do something else. I like doing things with my kids. Mm. If it was something that they planned, whether it be like, I've taken my kids to go see plays. I've taken my kids for like different fun activities. Mm -hmm. If it was something that they initiated, they were my, and obviously with my husband helping of like, mama, we're going to go and take a dance class together or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I'd probably cry the whole, if they were like, let's take a tap class. I'd be like, get a ring, get a ring, Like I would love it because they would know that's like a part of my, uh, part of the way I try to show love to them and them yeah. reciprocating it. And mm -hmm. then them dropping me off at a hotel to sleep in. <laughs> dropping and, and leaving you to be yeah, by yourself. Yeah, exactly. So there's mm -hmm. time with time them. Time with them. And then, and then time, time by yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And letting me make sure that I have room service Come and on. let me have my cocktails and my food while I watch, you know, I don't know, some random show on TV. That would be great. Aww. What about you? Oh my gosh. I would love to just spend an endless amount of time with Aria. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, that's my buddy. Mm -hmm. Like, she's so much fun to me. She's so funny mm -hmm. and we have a good time together so if we can just do us all the things that we want to do in a day together whatever that is mm -hmm. just us I would love that and we have little moments like that but just when it's really it can be an all-day thing and let's let's just add in from the other card it's unlimited resources oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah you have to let's do a little shopping spree you know I mean? go get your nails toes done what, what? or travel somewhere oh, together yeah. I would love that so any extra additional time away from work, away from homework being due, away from I gotta do laundry, hold on, we can watch a movie, but hold on, something's burning in the kitchen or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just us. That sounds Yes. Beautiful. Give oh. it to me. Y'all little peas in a pod. Yes. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. All right, let's do this question. What is a controversial thing to say about motherhood? Ooh, a controversial thing to say is I don't like my kid. Mm. I think that's controversial. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, sometimes it's true for folks. Sometimes it is true for people. Um, I love my kid <laughs> <laughs> and I like my kid. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't relate, but I do know that sometimes when people hear that, they it can trigger them. It's like, how can you not like your kid? How can you not have fun or think they're great? Sometimes parents are like, very honest if mm -hmm. their kid is a jerk yeah and they can call it out and yeah. say my kid's a jerk my kid's an a-hole or mm -hmm. I don't like them <laughs> right now or I whatever whatever it is that they feel and some people they're like what how could you say that how dare you I mean I I again I I only have one mm -hmm. I love I like my one mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like so, doesn't apply to me, but um, I know that that's a controversial point for some mm. people. I've heard a lot of people, not a lot, I've heard quite a few people here recently talk about how they hate being a mother. Mm. And I know that they are speaking from their truth. I feel yeah. bad for them just because I love it. Yeah. I, I mean, I Same. love it. Yes. So I, it's not that I, I feel like they shouldn't be able to say it. I just feel bad that their experience is one that they don't enjoy yeah. being able to do. Even if, you know, their their truth is their truth and right. they could be having a terrible time. Right. I just wish I'm like, I'm having a blast over I'm here. I'm having a ball. I love it. Yeah. It's the greatest gift. I'm like, thank you, God. Right. But that's my experience. Yeah. God bless. Next. All right, last question for you, Angel. Okay. What is the most prominent topic in your mom group chat? Ooh. Well, because I have kids of various ages, mm -hmm. so I have mothers at various, in various stages, stages of, motherhood. of motherhood. Yeah. So I got some mothers where there's a lot of the conversation is about the colleges that their child is choosing because mm -hmm. they have high school seniors. Yeah. 
um, with the elementary school kids. It's uh, some of the conversation is about the kids that their their child is starting to hang out with because mm -hmm. of um, all of the all of the choices that start to bleed over to your own child. Like, you know, yeah. they begin to be influenced by the kids that they hang out with more than us, their parents. Um, and then you have my preschooler who, I don't even talk to them mamas, let me be honest. I ain't got time, I don't need no more mom friends. I'm so sorry you should have made it in there when I had the twins. <laughs> They're like, Angel, can we hang out? Can we have a play date? I'm like- No new friends. I'm like, no, no new friends. Can't. My son Too has late. play dates with his three older brothers. <laughs> Um, you know, at one point in time, there was a lot of conversation about gender identity mm -hmm. because that is at the forefront of a lot of just, um, not even legislation, but like rules that are being set in schools yeah. and stuff yeah. and being out here in California, which is, uh, in, specifically in Los Angeles, which is a more progressive state. Mm -hmm. You have a lot more kids, um, uh, I guess discovering and making and making choices about how they would like to identify when it comes to gender. So kids are learning about gender identity earlier. Mm -hmm. And so me being someone who is a Gen Xer, well, on the cusp of being a millennial, that's not something that we dealt with. So uh, not not at a, as an adolescent. So. Yeah, and not at school. It was never a topic at school. It was never a oh, discussion at nah. an assembly or no. privately even with like your class or a counselor. It just wasn't so a thing. It's, it's now like me having to re-educate myself and also trying to figure out like what um, what is being taught in school, what is being taught in my home, mm -hmm. trying to make sure there's the least amount of conflicting um, things being said to my child in house and out of house. Yeah. So I feel like I've had that conversation with a couple of mom friends who, mm -hmm. and you know, I have mom friends who are dealing with children who are um, not cisgender and mm -hmm. just like their journey of mm -hmm. how to support that child. So that's something I was, now let me say you what was not on my bingo card when I said I'm about to have some kids Yeah, was not like, oh shoot, how are we gonna navigate that? Right. So that is some conversation that I've noticed in some of my mom group top, uh, like chats. What about yeah. you? We, I mean, we in, we're, we chat as well. We but, chat as well. But you have your own outside because your child is in a different school. My child's in a different school. My child's a different gender. Yeah. And um, right now, that's why I was like putting my finger up earlier when you were speaking because right now a lot of the conversations with the mom groups at school are about the girl drama. My daughter's in fourth grade, she's 10, and they're, every day, it seems like, she's coming home like, mommy, there was drama today, there was drama today. And I'm like, okay, baby, what happened in school today? And she's like, well, so-and-so was crying, and so-and-so said this, and then it hurt their feelings, and then, and, and then made me cry, and then so now we're all crying, and then the counselor had to come over and talk to us, and I'm just like, Lord have mercy. And it's every day, it's like, at, at least, three times a week, which feels like every day to me. And so they're going through their emotions. They're going through mm -hmm. puberty. They're going through learning each other and becoming individuals and expressing themselves and having a voice and standing their ground and speaking up. And it's just, it's so much. And it just seems like she's on this emotional roller coaster. And so the moms and I are always talking about like, so, you know, so-and-so hurt so-and-so's feelings today. Like, yeah, I know. I told her to say sorry to your daughter. And like, yeah, well, she said sorry. And it's just, <laughs> girl, the girl, whole it's school a lot. could burn down and my kids wouldn't tell me a darn thing. <laughs> I was cool. It was good. It was a little hot. <laughs> I don't get no tea. See, here's the thing. This is what I do. She'll she'll try to give me the one word. Like, school was good. And I'm like, okay. What was the best thing about school today? What was your favorite part about school today? What was the worst part about school today? Do you not think I do this? What What did so-and-so say to you today? What did she say to you today? They'll hit me with the, I don't remember. <laughs> Little Marcus, oh, I'll be like, give me, I bring him the tea from the mama's chest. I'll be like, so I heard, heard. such and such at such and such the homecoming. What, what you feel about that? He's like, I didn't even know. <laughs> the whole Nothing. school could burn down, fall into a sinkhole. <laughs> And then he would be like, it did. I'd be like, where, where, where I you missed at? it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so maybe it's just, it could be it could be a boy thing. I, mean, girl thing. I don't know, girls are, maybe they're more talkative. I don't know. They maybe. definitely are. I mean, some of the drama I wouldn't want, I'd be like, next time just slap her because I'm tired <laughs> of hearing about it. See, now, the, uh, 
That's no. a whole other thing. We, <laughs> that's a whole other thing. Because we were instructed growing up, and I just recently had to tell. I'm like, listen, if somebody put their hands on you, tell a teacher. And if they put their hands on you again and the teacher did nothing, hit them back. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would never advise this any other time. However, however, however. No. try to make peace, but if not, you got my permission and yeah. you won't be in trouble when you come home from school, okay? Period. Period. <laughs> we want them to speak up for themselves. Right? Absolutely. And have a voice. Yeah. And stand their ground. Well, this was fun. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> Couch conversations for two. Yeah. <laughs>